Hi, I'm Tanya. And I'm Adam, and we are about to embark on a wintry van life expedition. But before we set off, we thought we would show you the upgrades we've done to our old rusty home. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up because it really helps our channel grow. And if you've got any questions or suggestions, let us know in the comments. We've lived in our old van jitters full time for two years. We've been on some amazing trips and have seen some amazing things. She isn't a particularly modern, high-tech, glamorous van, but if you've seen our van tour, you will know that she's got everything we need to live comfortably. However, there's always room for improvement. In this video, we're going to show you the big upgrades we've done to modernize our old van and take her functionality to the next level. about our electricity setup. Okay, so this is arguably the biggest upgrade that we have done. Definitely the most expensive upgrade that we've done. Uh, this is our electricity setup. So it's all down here in this cupboard. Um, and in there is the batteries, the inverter. We've got the battery to battery charger, all the solar adapter things. Like I don't, I don't completely understand all the technical stuff. So we will make sure that in the video description, we list it all or give a link to a blog that will list it all. Either way, you'll be able to find out that information thoroughly, more thoroughly in the video description. But a basic overview is we now have 300 watts of solar panel up on the roof. We have two 100 amp hour batteries and we have a 1000 watt inverter, which now means that we can plug in to our plugs around JITs absolutely normally, like it was in a home, and we've got USB plugs and it's all easy. And we can charge from the sun like we've never before. We, when we were in Wales, it was sunny days quite often, and the batteries would just be charging quicker than we could use them, even when we had two laptops plugged in. So that's an absolute game changer for us, because before we didn't even have half this amount of power, and the batteries were really cheap and we couldn't do a full day's work. So now we are sorted. And now we're coming into winter, we're not gonna have much sun, but the battery to battery charger, which effectively changes the engine when you're driving into a generator to charge up these batteries, we can charge up from 10% to 100% in approximately three hours of driving. Another excellent feature is this app. We can see the level of our battery down to the percentage, monitor the solar yield, and control the inverter. We have to do a quick shout out to Tom from Tiny Build Electrics. He is an absolute legend and he gave us a consultation and sourced all of this for us. And without him, uh, we wouldn't know what we were doing. He made sure that we got exactly what we needed to match our needs. If anyone out there is anything like us and we don't understand exactly what this all is and how this works, but you want to upgrade your electricity, go to him, he'll tell you everything you need to know and make it super easy. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, Tom. Check him out, link below. Now we are moving over to the kitchen, um, the other room, very <laughs> important room. On the other side of the house. On the other side of the house, the West Wing. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll let Tanya give you a quick little mini I'm very reintroduction. Mini tour, yeah. a, a mini tour because we do have our full van tour um, which we'll link here um, but this is just for newbies or people that love reminding this is our stove our gas stove so everything is really compact and smartly designed we've got our lovely little sink boom Excellent. Sometimes we put our dirty dishes in there when we're driving. Yeah, we've hid them for the for the tour. We didn't want them to be there. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then we've got a little tiny oven, oven, which we still use as storage. But we also use it in an oven, we, especially now it's winter, we're gonna wanna be doing some more bakes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, and then loads more storage here and up here. And up here is where we've so got our plates and all that stuff. But what's really exciting is Can that... I just interrupt you? Yeah. Do you wanna show the tiny little table first whilst we're doing a van oh, tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is new. This is one of the upgrades. No, <laughs> this isn't like super fancy because we literally put this in right before we left on this trip. But like, do not underestimate the power of just like, like smart design. Yeah, it doesn't look like much and it's not high tech and no. it's very cheap, but, but 
Look at this, right? And so then the thing. So the, the reason why it's exactly. important is because often we will be cooking, and we'll also be, you know, washing up, doing whatever you need to. And we often found that we just had no surface space, so we kind of had to do things in stages. Yeah. This now, now this. yeah, this now allows us to do different things all at once, which is amazing. Perfect example of the fold down table in use. <laughs> so shall I just show them how it folds up? I'll show them the beauty of it. Yeah, look. <laughs> yes. There you go. Wow. Lovely bit of cheap wood. And then, oh, just a little cheeky little screw. There it is. That is fancy. <laughs> but there you go. That is perfect. It tucks away. We're going to get some art or something to print on this to make it just look a bit more pretty because at the moment it's quite rough around the edges. But like jets. Like jets. Functional but not beautiful. I know. That, that is her. But that's but why we this, love it. But this is functional. Let's talk about this. This, this is, very is functional. This is a brand new fridge. Um, this is a compressor fridge which means that it runs off the battery only. It's a lot more efficient than the old one that we used to have because that one was a three-way fridge which meant that it ran off the gas as well as the electricity but because it wasn't as, as our battery system wasn't as efficient back then it was a whole mess and basically what it ended up being was that in the summer in particular a lot of our food was just going off it just wasn't keeping things cold and so now this is a total game changer because it's like <laughs> look at the size of this freezer it actually it's freezes it's amazing and it's just basically yeah. always cold in that fridge so just to kind of summarize, our old fridge was great if you were on electric hookup and great if you're on gas, but it would use gas like that. Mm -hmm. This one is great on the 12 volt, so plugged straight in to our batteries. And it's just really efficient. It doesn't take up too much energy, but it does get very, very cold and it freezes things really well. So that's mm -hmm. lovely. That was great for summer over Wales. We had ice cream. <laughs> We had lots of ice we cream. We had actual ice cream. Well, now we can freeze our, we can have like frozen berries and all of that so we can put them on our porridge. Yeah, true. So you so always need a freezer. You always need a fridge freezer. And, and you always need a fridge that works. Yeah, exactly. And this brand is very, very good. It's called, it's an Italian brand, I think it's called. What, can you read it there? Um, oh, Vitri Frigo. Vit, Vitri Frigo, we'll Richie Fergo. Yeah, we'll put the links below, but there's, there's them and there's another brand called Dometic and they're both very good. But yeah. from my research online, someone did an experiment and found out that these were slightly more efficient than the Dometic, which is controversial because I hadn't heard of them. But I've done my research and they're a solid brand. Yeah, so really yeah, good. Oh, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Um, although we wish we were because then we'd get money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the other like really great thing is our new water filter. Mm. So this water filter um, basically makes the water taste like premium glacier water. But the reason why we love it is because the water tank that we do have is as old as Jits, which is like over 20 years old. Um, <laughs> we don't know what's living in there. We don't know what's in our water. And so what we used to have to do is we would fill up our water tank, but we wouldn't use that water to drink. We would fill up separate water bottles um, to do that. The water tap is as Tanya, I think, said, is connected directly up to a water filter. So before we would use our water just for showering, just for washing up, and we would have drinking water as bottles that would be cluttering up the bathroom. Yeah. So it would be a nightmare, and we'd have to go in, and every time we wanted to get a drink of water, we'd have to go into the bathroom and get the bottle out. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. Which doesn't seem, it's not like, it's not a big deal, but, but this. In and yeah, in the grand scheme of things, when van life is so slow anyway, and everything takes one or two steps, if you can minimise the amount of steps it takes to do something, <laughs> yeah. and you can have drinking water on tap like that, it really does make the world a difference. And the water tastes good, and it means we don't need to worry about our water source as much, because this filter filters out everything. It's called a Nature Pure something, something. I, but again, <laughs> link, we'll link it below. You might as well just all go to the description now, guys, and just sack the video off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Hmm. Um, what else have we upgraded? Uh, yeah. <gasps> I know. The thing that makes us cosy. Oh, yeah. So. So, this is a very, very big one for the winter. 
it is our diesel heater. When we were driving around Scotland and Switzerland and all of these places in the snow, <laughs> we didn't have a heater. We used hot water bottles. There was a gas heater installed, which ran from the LPG, but again, wasn't very efficient. We never used it. It didn't really work very well at all, so we just never used it. Now we have a Chinese diesel heater. So it's one of the cheaper ones. It's not German, but from all intents and purposes, when you look around on the internet, they've got great reviews and they've worked really well for us. Tanya's taking the camera. So Go show them the magic. So I don't know why I'm doing this because I can't really get to it, but <laughs> um, this is the extractor here. Mm -hmm. This is where the heat comes out. Here we have the control panel. Ooh. Ooh, very good. There's a button. And literally, you can do everything you want from here. You can turn it on. I think you can set it to come on at a specific time, but I don't want to do that because I always want to be around when the heat is on. Um, and yeah, you just turn it on and move in about 10 minutes. It's blasting hot air out of there. And yeah, it's ideal. We have the diesel is because this is a petrol van. So lots of people will have the fuel for the heater directly into the fuel tank of the van but because we're running petrol uh, we have a separate little diesel tank which is out the back at the back of the van behind one of the doors tucked away nice and neatly thank um, you gary from barry thank you gary from barry who's done all of these upgrades actually by the way he's installed all of these except for the terrible brilliant table um, link to gary from so, barry below gary from barry you might have heard of gary from barry because of craig and amy from kinging it uh, that's how we found him and yeah, he smashed it. He's done all of this. So yeah, that is, this is, when we're, when it's cold, you just don't enjoy being at home. And now we don't have to use hot water bottles all the time. We can actually just press a button and then that'll turn on. 10 minutes later, you're toasty as you like. And it's got a thermostat so you can set it. And once it gets to a certain temperature, it'll just tick over and it's quite quiet. And yeah, I think that is going to do us really well over these next few months. So an update regarding the diesel heater. As we were in the middle of editing this video, uh, we had a problem with it and we're now in the garage and the, apparently it was an exhaust problem, um, but we'll keep posted. Yeah. So maybe go for the German ones. Yeah, we're, we, yeah, we're not offering you definitive advice. This isn't advice here, this isn't advice. This is just our experience. Yeah. And here we are, this is our experience. Another day, another garage. <laughs> After a few hours of fiddling around, it turns out that it was just the exhaust. When installing the new heater, we kept the original exhaust pipe and it became blocked. Fingers crossed the heater is back in action keeping us warm. Just as well, because we're filming a winter van life series. Make sure you're subscribed. Diesel heater is fixed and working like a dream, which is just as well because it's been freezing these last few days. We've been having it on overnight, no problem, and it's been keeping us nice and toasty. <laughs> we love our diesel heater. One of the things that I'm grateful for, I mean, I love hot water bottles and we did survive with them when we were in Scotland and like Ireland and all of that. But what I would used to do to keep warm is like stuff a hot water bottle like on my front and also on my back. So we were just constantly doing that. So I am really grateful that we can just be comfortable in jits and I'm excited for when we're in the snow outside, come back from a hike and then you come back here and then you're all warm and toasty. All warm and toasty. Yeah. The other things that don't seem really that big, it's just like we've got new um, blanket covers so that it just makes the space feel a little bit yeah. bigger. That's um, not really, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> well, they're nice, but they're not really, I wouldn't call them an upgrade. Okay, they're can, not like a, can I just say... It's an aesthetic upgrade. We're talking about jits, functionality. Jits is not the prettiest girl going. So every time she gets something nice for her, we have to celebrate. Okay, fair so I, would, I want to say that, and I want to give a shout out to our bed sheets. Can we just talk about the bed sheets? Because we, we have um, bamboo, 100% bamboo bed sheets. We'll also leave the link down below. And comment, so in the, comment in the descriptions if you stopped watching when Tanya started talking about bed sheets. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but genuinely, they're so soft. They're amazing, eco, sustainable, all of those stuff that we love. So link below from Bamboo London. Yeah, they are genuinely yeah, lovely. Yeah, love them. They really are. There is one more big upgrade, little big upgrade that we'll show you, but 
I'm going to go out and show you that when it's not so dark and cold outside because it is the way that we fill up the water now. We've simplified that process and yeah. Which actually you may think when you see it is a downgrade. That is a downgrade. But we'll explain why it's an upgrade. Ooh. <laughs> and that noise is the heater coming on. Yeah. But it gets quieter than that. So I probably left it to the coldest moment possible to demonstrate this, but here we are anyway, and it is this that I'm demonstrating. A very low-tech, cheap upgrade to Jits, but it's how we get the water into her water tank. And it's literally just this tiny little funnel, obviously, as you can see, stick that there like so with a little suction cup, and then we can just pour it in from our bottle and seven of these will fill up uh, the whole tank. The reason why I think this is great is because we don't need to worry about getting close to a tap and we don't need to worry about having the right connectors for our hose, which is something that we've struggled with and I think pretty much everyone struggles with. <laughs> um, so this is just such a good option to be able to fill up little and often, keep on top of our water. We don't need to worry about making a big deal. Um, we just need to top up every now and then when we get low. Look at this. There magic. we go. Demonstrate. Drink up jets. Drink up jets. And this was insanely cheap. Two quid. Two quid. Less than two quid. Wow. Thumbs up for a bargain. <laughs> we think it's worth investing in the place you live. And at the moment, that happens to be our tiny old van. Each and every one of these upgrades has made such a big difference to our little home, and we couldn't be happier. Thank you so much for watching our van upgrades video. Please let us know what you thought in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to follow along our winter adventure. Woo! While editing this film, we crossed the border into the Czech Republic and we're so excited to share the first episode of our winter van life series. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs> oh god, my bum's cold. <laughs>